I was forced into oral sex with Vince McMahon. When I couldn't complete his desires, he got really angry, started ripping off my, my jeans, pulled me on top of him and told me again, if I wanted a half a million dollar a year contract, I had to satisfy him. New allegations have emerged involving WWE billionaire CEO Vince McMahon. WWE boss Vince McMahon has resigned following sex trafficking allegations from a former employee. You may have heard about the shocking sex abuse lawsuit being leveled at WWE boss Vince McMahon by a former employee. The scandal couldn't come at a worse time as the WWE signed a massive $5 billion deal with Netflix. So much is on the line. Everyone at the WWE has reportedly been told to not say a word. Vince McMahon, the founder of WWE, who resigned from the board of TKO Group earlier this year in the midst of a bunch of very disturbing allegations against him, has filed to sell more than $400 million worth of TKO stock. And as can be expected, there have been many people, including former as well as current WWE superstars, that have voiced their opinion regarding these extremely disturbing allegations against Vince McMahon. Let me just say that I've made mistakes, obviously, you know, both personally and professionally through my 50-year career. I've owned up to every single one of them and then moved on. Former WWE commentator Jim Ross has stated that he just wishes that the whole thing will just blow over. I'm tired of it. It's uh, embarrassing in a lot of ways uh, that it's happened this way. It's affected a lot of innocent people. I'm a, that's my take on it. I might be wrong, uh, but uh, it's... It's, uh, it's time to move on. It's time to move on and, and, and cause some uh, rest and, and a peace for some people. But it's time to move on, in my opinion. And uh, I just never believed that Vince would allow his company to get this out of control. <clears throat> and, it, and it has. And I feel badly about that. Because I know how much the WWE meant to Vince. I'm sure it still does to some degree. So, uh, in any, anyway, I just, it's time, let's go, let's move on. Let's, uh, let's rewind it and uh, cast, the, cast the, the hook in the water one more time and try to see if we can catch something more positive. Former UFC and WWE star Ronda Rousey has had some pretty negative things to say regarding the WWE, which she has outlined in her newly released book, which reads as follows. WWE bills itself as a sports entertainment organization, and just like in the mainstream entertainment industry, there was, by all accounts, a casting couch culture where men backstage in powerful positions pressured female talent for sexual favors in return for airtime. There were so many public accusations and scandals, it's hard to keep track, and more that I'm sure the WWE managed to sweep under the ring. Behind the scenes, oh yeah, how much of an absolute shit show it is at the WWE because, you know, I don't have, they, they can't hold a sword over my head and like hold me hostage with my own career and uh, I don't need anything from them and I don't intend on going back so I can actually say everything that I think and feel where everybody else that is still uh, held captive by their organization cannot. Podcast giant Joe Rogan has stated that he isn't really that shocked when it comes to the extreme nature of these allegations, particularly with regards to the type of perception that Vince McMahon gives off. Oh, dude, that <laughs> Vince McMahon is wild. <laughs> that boy's out there. I, Listen, he's a billionaire. Right. He's been running pro wrestling for fucking decades. He's world famous CEO of this giant fucking multi national company pro wrestling company he's also in pro wrestling right he gets out there and competes he does it yeah the thing is when i see that dude with his shirt off he's 80 years old he's got a chain around his neck what are you shocking me with this information yeah, 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 yeah. don't you think it takes a lot to get that guy going widely regarded as the original wwe diva sunny who goes by tammy sitch and who's had a pretty shocking downfall of her own which i depicted in a previous video has had the following to say from prison yeah, but it's bound to happen sooner or later. I mean, with all the rumors and gossip that's been going around here for like 40 years, you know what I mean? Um, 
But it makes me wonder, I mean, if this kind of thing is happening in the company, um, he, people always ask me, was he inappropriate towards me? And I say, not at all. He was like a father figure toward, towards me. He was never inappropriate, never out of line towards me. And then it makes me think, if he's doing this with all these other girls, okay, what was wrong with me? Former WWE star Jeff Jarrett has stated that this is the end of an era. But no matter how, where you sit on it, it is disturbing and for all intents and purposes, it's the end of an era. And it is a new day in the professional wrestling business. And look, it, it's, it's the, the magnitude and how it's gone down and Look, you, you can't subtract any one component of, I mean, we talked a little bit about on this, George and Michelle on the board, off the board, and Nick Khan in, and, and the, the change in leadership, and off and on, off and on. And, you know, everyone knew at some point that Vince was, was going to, and the joke was he's going to, you know, die in that seat. It, you know, just because he even said that. You know, just the evolution of the WWE and where it goes, and it's getting bigger and bigger. And we've we've talked about the very cool things of Rock sitting on the board and Nick Khan and Netflix and all this. But the tragedy of how the man, Vince McMahon, sits today. It's unbelievable. Martha Hart, who is the widowed wife of former WWE superstar Owen Hart, has had her fair share of negative dealings with the WWE as well as Vince McMahon, particularly regarding her husband Owen's controversial death at a pay-per-view event back in 1999. And she has recently stated that she's not surprised by any of these allegations. Not surprised when I heard there was yet another lawsuit. Over the years, the WWE, they've had many lawsuits and they've had a lot of bad press. And I tell you, I read all of the 67 pages in that complaint and it is absolutely horrific. And I have to say that, um, you know, the level of wickedness that's uh, described is beyond the pale in, in that uh, complaint. And anyone with a shred of humanity would find the indignant acts just incomprehensible, frankly. Um, so it, uh, it wasn't a shock that there was another lawsuit, but um, the level of, I guess, depravity um, there certainly was and uh, and by Janelle Grant's own admission she was a vulnerable person she was unemployed she, her parents had passed away she was suffering with grief and she was also uh, just on the cusp of financial collapse so these are all the makings of a very vulnerable person Racing journalist Dave Meltzer has stated that he thinks the feds will specifically target those people that have signed NDAs because these allegations have been around for decades. I think that the, the investigators are going to be looking for those people and we know the people with the NDAs and we know they're talking to the people with the NDAs. So people who are the most, who had, I guess, the most uh, that for WWE to fear by paying them the NDAs are talking or attempt or the feds are attempting to get them to talk. So. Um, yeah, there's probably going to be a lot more because these allegations have been around for decades and, um, you know, it's just connecting the uh, stories with the faces, so to speak, at this point. WWE star Kevin Owens has stated that he is extremely saddened and that the whole situation is just shameful. I mean, obviously, uh, everything that's come out is awful, it's just terrible, and there's really no words to describe how sad this makes me feel mm. if uh, if the people uh, if, if the people that spoke out went through what they went through it's terrible shameful and uh, it can't ever happen again former WWE superstar as well as former boyfriend of deceased WWE diva Ashley Mazzaro Paul London hopes that more people will come forward this is the tip of the iceberg you know hopefully more people will come forward and um, add credibility to what's already been revealed, but you know, you gotta think that 
for the Wall Street Journal to go as in depth as they did. Um, you know, that's, uh, I don't know. Anxious to see what happens, I guess, or curious to see what happens, you know. Uh, maybe Vince owns a lot of firearms. Former WWE star Maven Huffman has stated that it's crazy to think that Vince McMahon will never have a place in the WWE again. I think what shocked me the most by the allegations was, say what you want about Vince. I never viewed Vince as a predator until now. Allegations be true. What we all read, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's just absolutely unbelievable to think that someone can can have that in a much less someone that a lot of people looked up to a lot of people counted on a lot of people relied on and during my time we all heard rumors backstage of what might be going on but the way i always looked at it was if it didn't involve me it was none of my business so that said to to hear about what went down didn't necessarily shock me, but what did shock me was just the overall evil, evilness in his deeds and his just reckless disregard for, you know, for human decency. And so what's my opinion of Vince McMahon? Well, prior to the current allegations, I, for years, have answered the Vince McMahon question the same whenever anybody asks me what he's like. I said, he signs the front of the checks, I sign the back, and there is a difference. But moving forward, there's a part of me that I still don't know how to feel, but it's obvious. You know, more information is gonna come out and probably more information that might not make him look good. But I'm still, I'm still trying to come to grips with knowing that the man who has been at the, at the, at, at the height of the wrestling business that I have loved my entire life that he's just never going to have a place in it anymore and he's never going to have a place not only in the wwe but in wrestling moving forward former wwe star kevin nash has stated that he wishes that no harm will come to any members of the mcmahon family if these things were done to me by a 77 year old man I wouldn't be looking for a payoff. I would be looking for him to die in prison on criminal charges. Because once you get the criminal charges, you can still go back and get civil. But uh, I just, I looked at it and I just, because um, Paul is, is, is such a good friend, um, I love Stephanie to death. Um, Shane's a friend. Linda's always been good to me. So it's a it's a family that I've always felt welcome around. Um, Vince was the first person to see anything in me um, as far as uh, the ability to be a star. To, you know, to uh, he put me in as that figurehead of his business uh, during the, the steroid trials and um, so yeah I mean there's there's it's I, I don't want anything to I don't want it to be true you know? I don't want it to be true and I don't want um, harm to come to any of those people Political commentator Geraldo Rivera has stated that he thinks Vince McMahon is a bad man I think the, the big legal question will be the impact of the non-disclosure agreements that Vince McMahon became an expert at foisting on all of his, the females in his orbit. Uh, they, they, many of them have already settled. I think four women, uh, over $12 million in settlements, all with non-disclosure agreements. How, uh, you know, are we now finally going to deal with that big uh, uh, monster in the room where women get cash? Uh, seal their lips and go on with their lives uh, on, uh, with handcuffs that they can't talk about what the settlement was. But this is a, this is a bad man. WWE star Becky Lynch has stated that Vince could be extremely difficult to work with, but that he was always good to her. So 
Those allegations are horrible, man. And, and it's so hard to listen to because that's not my experience. He, he was so good to me. And Vince had a, a genius about him and he was not the easiest to work with. But he had also lived an extremely like uh, interesting life in terms of what he built. And so I like learning to, from him. I like talking to him. Um, he is responsible for, for all of the, the, the things in my life by building WWE. And uh, for the most part, like we would, we've had some ups and downs, but he was always good to me as, as a person um, and always treated with me with respect. And I felt like I had earned a lot of respect from him and he gave me a lot of respect. And then you're hearing this other side, which is, which is not the person that I know. And that's, that's really hard. That's, that's really hard, especially when you're a woman in this business and you're a woman who has been trying to push things to be equal. But it, look, that, that, that's the other part of it, right? Like it's not, there's, there's, there's not a third party that was making things unequal. You know what I mean? And so, 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 so that's the other, that's the other side of things. And that, that was the kind of things that I think I write about in the book was kind of a little bit eye rolly, you know, in that, uh, like, here's a women's evolution, here's a women's revolution. And so it's very hard to hear about, about these, these things because I didn't experience them. Mm. And I hate that anybody experienced, I hate that anybody experienced that in general, but especially somebody that, that that it has been very kind to me in in my life and my career, and that's kind of going all over the place, I suppose. And and it's it's like it's like two different people. Okay. So he's like a, like a like a grandfather, you know. Like who's, I remember telling them that I was pregnant and how how good he was to me and how happy he was for me. And you think of that kindness that 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 you felt, and and then you have to hear about this other side, and it's it's horrible. Mm. That's, that's horrible. It's certainly going to be interesting to see what happens regarding these shocking developments against Vince McMahon. But in any case, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.